Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I have the V-Mortal 4K sports camera. Now this camera retails for about $35, so don't expect to get the quality of a really expensive GoPro, but I will tell you for $35, it may be the camera for you. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. First thing first, let's talk about the resolution. Now this is 4K at 30 frames per second, but if you drop down to 1080p, you can get 60 frames per second. And if you drop down to 720, you can get 96 frames per second for slow motions. It has an f-stop of 2.2, and the camera range is 1.5 meters all the way up to infinity, in case you want to catch something in the background. On the side of the camera, you have a door, and when you open it up, you're going to get a micro SD card slot, and it will accept up to 64 gigs. You also have a reset button, an HDMI output, and a micro USB input. It has a 800 milliamp built-in battery, and that's going to give you a few hours of use, plus it's compatible with just about any kind of PC or Mac. I will tell you that this camera is 100% waterproof right out the bat, and it has a built-in LED light and also a protector for the glass. On the top of it, you're going to find your record button, your setup button, and on the side of it, it does have Wi-Fi, so it will connect to the application for downloading files right to your phone right away. And on the bottom, it has a standard mount for tripods, as well as the accessory kit that comes with it. Now I'm going to show you what comes in the box with it. You get the action camera, an instruction book. You also get some different types of mounts, as well as a double-sided tape and an extra battery door. Another thing I like about this camera is that it uses all the GoPro accessories. So here's some of my GoPro accessories and all these mounts will work on this camera. So now I'm going to show you how to set it up so it can mount on any of the accessories. This is the main accessory that you need. Once you screw it on the bottom of the camera, then it's set up to work on any of the mounts. Example, here's the bicycle mount that came with it. Just unscrew it. Slide the camera in between these grooves and then reinstall the screw. Then all you would do is unscrew these, mount that on the bar on your bicycle and you're ready to go. And this will work on any of the mounts that came with it. And if you still use a selfie stick, the thread pattern will work on that as well as standard tripods. Now let me show you some of the controls on it. To power it up, press and hold down the button with the circle on it. The way the buttons are set up, this is like the OK button. This actually moves you from side to side, and the side button moves you down. When you press on the top one, this takes you through the different modes once you set everything up. The screen with the gear is the one that you use to go into your menus. From here, you can see your different settings. So for example, if I want to change the resolution, I just press the OK button. Then I use the side button to select which resolution I want. Once I find one I like, I just press the OK button again. So let's take a look and see what's in the video settings. Under video settings, you have resolution. If you press OK, then you can scroll down. Right now I have it set at 30 frames per second 4K, but you can see you can go to 720p, 1080p, all the way back to 4K. Hit this button to OK it. Now you also have sound recordings. You can put in time lapse whenever you want to do like a sunset or something like that. You can loop record your slow motion functions. And you have 60 frames per second slow motion or 720 at 90 frames per second slow motion. Under photos, you can go from five megabytes all the way up to 16 megabytes, as well as you can time it. You can have automatic exposure or drama shot. Under the setup mode, you have exposure. You can set up your white balance to be automatic. Rotate image. Drive mode. Wi-Fi. Change the frequency of your light source. The indicator on the front of the unit. Automatic screensaver. And you also can create a shutdown timer. You also can mark the time and date on your pictures by checking that box. And then you have volume as well. Next, you have languages.
time and date, format the memory card, factory reset, and you can also update the firmware. Even though it doesn't come with this memory card, make sure you choose a class 10 when selecting one. Now that I told you everything that you need to know about the camera, let's take a look at some sample footage. Now I didn't do a lot of long clips because I just want to give you an example. The first thing you want to do is go into your Android or Apple App Store and type in Sports Cam. And this is the one that you want to download. It looks like zebra stripes on the camera itself. Put your camera in Wi Fi mode by powering it up and pressing down the Wi Fi button. You'll see an indicator on the back of it. Once it's connected, go back into the application, then you can continue the setup. As long as you follow the steps I just gave you, go ahead and press Next and choose Sports Cam. As you can see, I appeared up on the screen. Now I can control all the different settings right from my phone. You can change the resolution and all these different settings that I showed you inside of the camera right from this app. Under media, you can watch anything that you previously record and you can also capture. So if I want to take a picture of myself, I just go ahead and press the camera button. Just like that, as well as videoing. The last part of this video is I'm going to try the water test using this water in this cup. Now there's a side piece that has a rubber seal on it. So if this is leaking by any chance, you can damage the unit. It has rubber around the edges, so it's going to seal very nicely and tight. So let's go ahead and try it out. As you can see, it's very flush. So what I'm going to do is start the record button and then pour water over it. Here we go. Now if you look on the back of it, you can see it's still recording. That's cool. So here's my final thoughts about this camera. The resolution on it is pretty good considering that it's $35. The fact that it has Wi-Fi and an application that you can connect to is very good. And the fact that it records 4K at 30 frames per second 
what application that you can use to upload the pictures right onto your phone directly is a positive. Now, when it comes to action cameras, since they are waterproof, then they don't have one of those good microphones because the microphone is sealed off. If you take any kind of phone and put it under water, the microphone will not work. So for people who use this type of camera, you're really gonna be using it with a music background. So overall, I think it's a really good buy and I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.